I was a junior at Georgia Tech in 1975 when I bought the Motorola MEK 6800D1 evaluation kit right after they lowered the price from $300 to $150. Over the next two years or so, I built up this microcomputer system around it. I built the backplane buffer board from scratch, including the artwork, etching, and plating. The two RAM board kits were $90 each from SD Sales, advertised in Byte Magazine. The tape cassette interface is my copy build from two articles in the March 1976 issue of Byte Magazine. The teletype set interface is my own design and just upgraded last year. I acquired, repaired, and overhauled my teletype set in 1977 and 78. Then I uh, put it back into operation just uh, last year, after about 25 years in storage. First we turn on the Windows 98 laptop. After Windows 98 boots up, here's the TerraTerm icon. Got the TerraTerm window. And I want to get ready to load the application program. So I'll use Notepad, select all, copy to the clipboard. Go back to the TerraTerm window, turn on the microcomputer, hit the reset button, make sure I'm in caps lock, and I'm ready to load the program. So there's L, which is the program load, and then I'm going to paste the object code. TerraTerm asks for confirmation. I say OK. So the laptop is now uh, uploading the object code to the microcomputer. This operation takes just over one minute for this program. All right, program load complete. Now we uh, can start the program. It's the utilities manager program that I wrote. It has several commands. And what I want to do is load the text buffer with a message to be sent to the teletype machine. And so you pre-compose the message you want to send. Copy to the clipboard. Now, the send text to the uh, microcomputer is command 1, paste, confirmation, and wait a few seconds and to terminate the load you type control D. This is a description of where the end of file marker is in the text buffer. There's the file I just loaded and I see I need to put the time down. Control D again. Confirm. All right, now command three is to send the message to the teletype machine, but before I do that, I have to turn it on. The teletype machine, that is. Okay, first I'll turn on the main switch, which is at the back of the reperforator unit. And I have to go confirm that I've got line current. There's the red LED. 
and it's lit. So I've got line current. Next is operate the brake key. Did you hear that? Press the letters key and then turn on the motor. Right here. Turn on the copy lamp. There we go. Now I'm ready to send the message to the teletype machine. I'm going to do this while I hold the camera so it's a little shaky. Command 3 says send or receive and I'm going to send. You can hear the machine going. In letters mode. Okay. To receive a message from the teletype machine, I type command 3 again. This time I'm going to type R for receive. And now I'll go to the teletype machine and type out a short message. Letters key. Back on. And that's the demonstration. I can exit the program back in MicBug, and then I can go back immediately to the program if I want. Thank you for watching. I hope this will be of interest uh, to someone.